Hello, my name is Jay Keith with Workflow Concepts, and I'm going to provide a demonstration on our custom callback server. As you can see here, I am an agent slash supervisor in Finesse. I'm in the ready state. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and make myself not ready. Uh, my plan here is to initiate a callback and then show you some of the administration pages that we have to see callbacks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and initiate a callback here play the role of a customer calling into a contact center. Good afternoon and thank you for calling the Workflow Concepts demo line. To reach an agent, press zero. Try out our Sirius XM based music on hold now by pressing one. To submit a request to be called back by an agent using our callback server, press three. To be Please enter the 10 digit number you would like to receive a callback on starting with the area code. When finished, Press the pound sign. Are you still there? Please enter the 10 digits. It's repeating because I didn't like press pound. A call back on starting with you entered five zero eight nine two two zero seven two one. If this is correct, press one. At the sound of the tone. You can record a message up to 45 seconds long. Press pound when finished. Hello, this is callback number one. I'm going to let this sit in queue as uh, we await so we can see the call queuing in the callback server uh, on the web GUI. Your request has been processed. You will receive a callback shortly. Thank you for calling Workflow Concepts. Goodbye. So there is, uh, I put one call back in. I'm going to go ahead and initiate another call back just so we can see um, how that stacks up in our management interface. Good afternoon and thank you for calling the Workflow Concepts demo line. And hit three for that call back. Please enter the 10 digit number you would like to receive a call back on starting with the area code. When finished, press the pound sign. You entered five zero eight nine two two zero seven two one. If this is correct, press one. You already have a callback pending in queue. Please wait and your callback will be processed in the order in which it was received. Thank you for your continued patience. Goodbye. Now the system was smart enough to recognize that I had already had a uh, callback request in there. So here we're looking at finesse. I'm going to click over to this tab. Um, this is our diagnostic screen. As you can see, um, it tells you what it is, diagnostic screen. If we want to refresh, we go over here. I just did that. Uh, but as you can see here, that callback, we have one callback waiting. It happens to be that callback that I just initiated. We can see that the caller did leave a recording. And at the time that it was requested, and if it's made any attempts to place that call back, which it has not yet, so it will list one uh, until it places that attempt. So now I'm going to go over to Finesse, and I'm an agent. I was currently on break. I'm going to come back into service, and as soon as I come back into service, uh, that callback is going to get queued to me. Here's the call. I'm going to go ahead and answer it with Finesse. Any key to accept this callback request. Press any key to accept this callback request. Hello, this is callback number one. I'm going to let this sit in queue as uh, we await so we can see the call queuing in the callback server uh, on the web GUI. Press one to repeat. Press two to perform the callback. I'm going to go ahead callback. and perform the callback as an agent. And now the... As you... And now we have the active call from the agent to the customer. I'm going to go ahead and end that call. And if you look over here, this is how we do the administration of the callback. This allows us to set what time to start offering callbacks to your customers as they're calling into the call center. And we also have a processing time so that you can uh, stop processing your callbacks about an hour before or whatever you choose to set that at. Uh, but basically shutting off the callback an hour before your end of day so that you can end up processing all the callbacks before end of day so that they don't roll over into the next day. 
the one of the benefits of this server is that if you did not process your callbacks uh, for the previous day, we can then uh, have the option to purge them at the end of the day where all callbacks would be pretty much deleted or keep them spinning so that we can then offer them up on the following business day. Thank you very much. Again, this is Jay Keith with Workflow Concepts, and this is our Workflow Concepts callback server.